okay so yeah she was saying go somewhere else and then she was like well i'll give you to sunday and i'm like okay whatever so in my head i'm like let me think quick on my feet because i work from home so wherever i go whether it's a extended stay or whatever so i'm calling around and she's overhearing and stuff like that so i'm writing down prices and things so i can just you know estimate because like one thing you're not gonna do is jeopardize my job jeopardize anything like i'm not gonna say no one that i want it but one thing you're not gonna do like just it's just too much like whether I had to, you know, finesse, finagle, do, not finagle, but finesse, like I was going to get what I needed done. And so then she feels guilty. But before she did, she's still going on a rant, just talking to herself. And I'm a person where you don't get a reaction out of me, especially at this point in my life. Like, as long as you don't run up on me, like you're not getting nothing out of me, not even nothing vocally. Like I'm exhausted with the people who are caught my family, like, and especially her. I'm like, wow, you see my transition. I just came from kind of the similar situation, creepy man that you've encountered before. Like, you know what? You're just, you're not a sibling, you're not a sister. Like for you to want to kick me out, like that just shatters me. So she sees me kind of upset. She was like, yeah, yeah, whoever you on the phone with, I hope they able to, you know, help you out because they should have at first and stuff like that. And I'm quiet because I'm like, you don't know who I'm talking to and you don't know anything. You don't know other people's households. So stay your dumb mm, out of other people's business. You don't know nothing about, let alone communicate with since you think you know it all. Don't you hate people who think they are so intelligently smart but are very dumb at the same time? Yeah, she one of them. <laughs> and you all you can do is laugh inside because it's like what you think you know you don't know like okay stop talking un before you ask questions first like what's wrong with you so then you know at that time y'all i was taking flights but she was still getting her money i was still saving doing what i need to do but i wasn't taking flights back to back but if y'all been watching my vlogs i've been seeing them probably like one flight since i've been with her and that's it so she wanted to throw that in there yeah you over here going to go see um people or whatever like that and i'm like come again she's like you can give that money to me you lowballing me and i'm like lowballing you you what you're not gonna do is keep trying to put over my head that you the saving grace of the reason why oh we got a place to be because baby before you came knocking on my door remember that you came knocking on my door <laughs> for a saving grace but then screwed me over did you not forget that now you're trying to act like I'm needing you, like how the pages flip, oh, so effortlessly, so forgetful you can be. <laughs> like, I'm just sick of that. Like, you are your mother's daughter, sweetheart. Like, you just use, 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 and and love to act like you just, just, oh, it just, it just was ugly, y'all. So she seemed to be a reservation. So she over here come sit down after she get done with her spirals. And she's like, I don't mean to be this way and talk this way. I'm sorry. And, you know, I just have a lot of pressure. And you don't understand what I'm going through, Sharita. Like, I'm the younger sister. And I'm trying to keep it over my hand. And I stopped her. I said, look, I don't want to talk about that because you can't mentally digest what I have to say, no matter how or what tone that I do say. Because... You're pissing me off. Keep saying that you're doing something for the both of us and you're not. No, what you're doing is you're paying what you did. Your adult agreements for your livelihood, sweetheart. Outside of the cut that I'm paying you, which should be a break. So cut the crap with this whole you just said, because you're not. You're behind because of you, not because of me. Okay? So let's wrap that sob story up quick. Because it's time. And I'm not, with anything that I have to deliver with how you've been treating me verbally, I don't, I don't got nothing to sugarcoat or say when I open my mouth. Like, it's going to be what it is. Like, you crying because of what? I told you to sit down and open up your book so I can help you. Did you know? Okay, well, anything going for, forward, stop looking for a reaction out of me because you're not going to get it. That's not my fault. That's your fault at this point. Like, What? And so, you know, she was like, you don't have to say my apology, but I don't want you to leave because we're both in this situation. And, you know, we got to help each other and we're here for each other. And I'm like, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. You're psychologically, mentally not prepared to, to, to really go through adulthood and the pressures that it comes with because of whatever happened to you and what's going on mentally. And like I said, y'all, I'm not giving too much because it's not my story to tell. But some parts I have to say because it's a part of my story and what she does affects my story. So, yeah. 
And with that, I'm just like, whatever. I don't say nothing to her. I just go to bed. Doom. So after this, you know, of course, little spats here and there. Like I said, you know, I just kept knowing to myself, I got to hurry up and get out of here because it's becoming her mental spats are becoming insane for me like I, I i just can't do it and i'm just a sitting duck at this point a punching bag so we're gonna get to the last leg to where i can kind of give y'all the proof and why i'm where i'm at today with my sister and my mother okay all right i think if i remember one more thing i'll put it in between but we're gonna get this last last part rolling okay